So today, I'm gonna to be shooting my Grand. This is a M1 Grand, it's a CMP, so it's kind of a little bit of a mix and match one, but the serial number's from 1943. I think the barrel's uh, 52. Yeah, so I just got some 30-06 ammo for the Grand. It's like a, it's a lighter load. Um, so I'm gonna set up a target and I'm hoping to use this for hunting this fall. So I'm gonna get down here to our shooting bench and set up target, see how it shoots. So we got this, it's the Hornady match, and this is the, specifically for the M1 Grand. So it's got a 168 grain bullet, uh, legendary accuracy. We'll find that out if that's the case with this. The rifling looks like it's in good condition in this gun, which is, oh, I cut myself there, which is really good. So we're gonna put the target out there, kind of in that little clearing. Actually, I'm gonna arrange that real quick. Okay, so it's 100 yards out to the edge of that clearing. So we're gonna try that right over there, actually. Where the target's pointing, that's where I got my first year. So, but we also built this shooting bench that year. And uh, we shot down here and the deer never cared. Okay, so we'll walk back a little bit farther. This is 95. Showing 100 right at him now. He's right there. So I'm gonna stick this in the ground. Okay, we'll call that good. Such a good apple. Yeah, I bet. Why? Oh. Okay, wait for those to go in. Okay. One round. Okay. I'm probably gonna blow my GoPro off because of the muzzle blast, but we'll just go with it. Fire in the hole! Did it kick? Let's see where we hit. I have no idea. Let's go take a look. Oh, oh wow. Hey, look at that. Oh. Oh. Just, oh, I mean, I was like, That's from 100 yards hole? iron sights, I was, I don't know, what's that, three inches. Looks like three inches off. Let me see if I can find the shelf. I don't know if there's gonna be a, that looks like it right there. There's the bullet. Bullet path goes right through there. See how much yeah. it blew out there. <laughs> Pretty cool. I killed a couple of plants. <laughs> <laughs> well, looks like we're gonna be killing some deer. I'm probably gonna shoot one more time. Yeah, we'll shoot one more time. Shoot one more time. Oh, I know that's 36. Okay, let's see where we hit there. I'm actually not sure where that hit. I see a hole in the top of the white part of the target. I don't know if that's it. It was there before. We're gonna go check it out. That's it right there. That, that's yeah. it, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, cause that one had a sticker on it. Huh. So this one's a little farther off. What, four? This is about four inches from where I was. I was also aiming kind of in this general area, so that is dead on in my, I mean, I'm fine with it, basically. I might actually, <laughs> I might shoot one more time <laughs> from closer thing? range. Look oh. at that right there. What, is that the bullet? Found part of the bullet right there. And that actually, yeah, that, that would match up because the, the hole was Wait, lower, he, so the impact is, is closer to the target. I'm gonna shoot one more time, we're bringing the target closer. I am really happy with this gun. Yeah, so you can see there, it's serial number. I looked it up and it shows 1943, so. I also really love the safeties on these old guns. People say they don't like them, 
but I like that. I have a, uh, actually my family has a A5 Browning shotgun from my great granddad. I might do a video on it sometime that has, for those of you who own one, you'll know a safety like this. Now it's a lot smaller and quiet because it's meant for hunting. But I really enjoy those kind that are right around the trigger guard that you can actually have your finger covering the trigger like when you're walking through brush and kind of pushing against the safety so you know you know the safety's on. I know you shouldn't always rely on your safety, but it's always a nice thing to have that. Okay, so got one more bullet, box of 20 rounds. It was expensive, so I'm only gonna shoot three. This time I'm gonna put the clip in there so we get the ping and everything. I range this, this is about my average shot that I've shot at deer with, with rifles, which is 40 yards. Um, I haven't really taken any long shots while whitetail hunting. My longest shot actually was probably my first deer from here, which was like 50 yards. Um, so that's just kind of probably has to do with where we hunt, but it's just how it is. So I'm gonna do from 40 yards. Fire in the hole. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> And that is hot. I could feel it. I could feel Burn it. myself. This stuff, it gets, it gets hot. It gets really hot. And I think I just nailed it. And I was compensating for the extreme downhill slope here. Because, oh yeah. Perfect. Almost bullseye. Yeah. I, wow, that's really close, huh? Just can't wait to get a deer. Can what about I? you? Yeah. Can uh, you wait? Uh, Can no. you wait? Well, you're gonna have to. Yeah, well, yeah. Rival season doesn't open for a little while, so. <laughs> That's cool. We're gonna shoot if Lucas has his, uh, we're gonna have our 22 here. We're gonna shoot that for a little bit. Have some fun with that. Lucas here, and he's shooting. Go for it. Big buck right here, settled in. Of course, we wouldn't shoot with a 22, but you get the idea. Oh my, missed. Did you hit it at all? Well, you think these are yours? Yeah. I think those are all yours. I was aiming a little too high though. Well, you know, the bullet Dropped. actually doesn't rise, but it stays very flat when going down the hill. So, so you're gonna have to aim lower. Well, can I aim at the middle one? Sure, go for it. Okay. So, that's about it. I got my earplugs dirty. Shot my gun, shoots great. I'm going to use it deer hunting. I'm gonna shoot my M1 Grand, try to get a deer with it this year. Doesn't matter what kind of deer, I'm not gonna be picky. It's gonna be doe, buck, anything. Pretty much anything I see when I'm out hunting with it. So, so if you want to subscribe, you don't have to, but whatever. I'm gonna be posting more hunting videos soon. So, hopefully I get a big buck, and you know, you guys, you've heard YouTube people talk before. So anyhow, bye. That looks kind of goofy. Headshot, lower. Oh, now you hit him in the gut. Okay, aim to more to the right. Not solo. Oh, that was it. That's all she had. Oh well, but you you done killed that bear. You can see you hit him in the ear. Oh, you 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 throat. you like branded him there with that one. And they killed him in the arm. And the throat. Well, you didn't kill him in the arm. You just hit his arm. Yeah, hit. Oh, down in the belly there. In the belly, and then this four, and then. Bear yeah, I think the best one was that one right there in his head. Yeah. Close to the 22. You would, you would just made him mad if you shot him with the 22. They're getting stung by a hornet. <laughs> oh, if you hit him right the there. The lead hornet. That's right.